And good evening. I'm Eric Franke. A day shelter for the homeless is making some people upset. They don't want it in their neighborhood. News 3's Keely Arthur joins us live. She's on Madison's East Side tonight. And Keely, what are some of the concerns that people have about this? Eric, Dane County wants to convert Mesner Incorporated into a $2.6 million homeless day center. But next door is a day care, and it's the proximity the shelter will have to kids that has many residents worried. On most school days, you can bet on seeing Simon Puglio playing with son Louie after class at Lampham Elementary. Stuff for you to fill out. It's cherished time he fears could go away if a homeless day center goes up just two blocks away. I'm really empathetic to their cause. Like, I feel like they need a place to go, but maybe not right next to our elementary school. And a public meeting held at the proposed site brought standing room only and similar concerns. The Dane County way is to study, look at, and make informed decisions. Unfortunately, that's not what's happening here. But some in the packed house showed support for the site and the upcoming center. I read the very small article about the development of this process and the potential for this building. I looked at it and I thought, finally. Dane County is buying the Mesner Incorporated building. The potential shelter will provide on-site job training, counseling, and access to warm showers. It's been nearly three years, I think, since yeah, there's been a strong commitment to, to develop a facility like this. The city says the proposed site is useful because it's so close to downtown and might even be more needed in light of the homeless being banned from sleeping on the steps of the Madison City County building. Maybe some of the events in, in recent weeks or months have, have just highlighted the need for those um, kinds of service. Neighbors in the area agree putting in a shelter is important. They just don't want it to be right next door. And whether it's Verona or whether it's the near west side, you know, or further down on East Wash, you know, just away from where there are lots of kids and families. If all goes to the county's plan, the shelter will be up and running next fall and it will serve about 200 homeless people every day. Eric, back to you. All right, Keely Arthur reporting on the east side tonight. Keely, thank you.